Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create your own Discord server tag for your Discord server. This guide is a complete guide on setting up the tag for your server. And before this tutorial starts, I want to quickly thank uh, the DGSI tag server, uh, which I'll have linked in the description below, for letting me use their server uh, with their boost to actually do this tutorial. And another thing before I start is there is a requirement. You need three server boosts in order to create a tag for your Discord server. Now quickly, we are almost at 2,000 subscribers, and once we hit 2,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away some Discord Nitro in my Discord server, which will be in the link in the description below as well. So make sure to join my Discord server. It's also in the server discovery now, so you can now find the server by just searching it on Discord. Uh, so if you do get one of those Discord Nitro giveaways, uh, then you can get some bonus boosts in order to get uh, the server tag. But anyways though, let's assume you have the three server boosts and let's show you how to set it up. Okay, so the first step is you'll go in your Discord server and all you're going to do is go to the top left here and go into your server settings. Once again, you'll need three server boosts to see this option, but you'll want to go to the server tag tab on the left side of your Discord server. So we're going to go to the server tag tab here and now there'll be a few different things you could do to actually create it for your server. So firstly, you could actually enable it and disable it whenever you'd like. And then you could actually choose the name and the symbol associated with the tag, as well as the color with it. So for example, if I wanted to create a tag called fire, I'll simply change the name and I'll change it to fire. Then if I wanted the fire icon, I could simply choose the fire icon and then I could choose the color of the fire icon that I'd like. And you could actually also go to the color picker here to actually choose literally any different, any uh, color uh, that you want on the hex code scale. So if I wanted a, uh, let's say a very uh, light green fire, uh, then I could just choose that instead of choosing one of their preset ones because they're kind of dull, uh, but this one is actually very cool. And then you'll just simply click on save changes. Once you save the changes to your tag, we can see that the tag has been updated for the server. And if we go to our actual Discord account, we can see that if we go to the server tag selection, we can see that the fire tag has been updated for the server that you edit it in. So if you edit it here, you could actually select it, save the changes, and the tag in the server that you created uh, will be applied to your Discord profile. Another thing is anyone could go to your Discord profile and actually click on the tag and then click on join server to actually join the server that your tag is set up in. So if you do want to promote your own server that has a tag in it, you could of course have it equipped so then people could actually join your server literally through your profile's tag. Another thing I'd like to note is that currently the server tags feature uh, for the boost section, so not the actual tag feature itself, but uh, the ability to add it to your server is only rolled out to 15% of Discord users, but this has been steadily climbing over the past couple of days, about 2.5% every couple of days or so. Uh, so very soon it should be rolled out to everyone. So if you do not have this thing, this sort of uh, section when you go to the boost settings on the server that you're in, uh, then you don't have the feature. But if you do have the feature, uh, then you can, of course, do this if you have three server boosts. And another thing is, if you do want the enhanced roll styles, uh, you have to basically choose in between which one you want to use, and it costs three server boosts to do so. Uh, so if you spend your three server boosts to create a server tag, uh, you cannot create enhanced rolls, and vice versa. If you used uh, your boosts to get the rolls, then you can't do the tag. So if you wanted to use both, then you have to have basically uh, six server boosts. Another thing I suggest is going into a server like Guild Tags List or Guild's Hub to actually sort of advertise your guild itself and your guild tag with your server. Uh, some of them, some of them are free. Some of them you do have to pay for, uh, but you can advertise your server with the tag. So if you have a really unique tag that no one else has, then it's a great way to get members to join your server uh, for the tag that's actually on your server. Another thing I'd like to note is that people can have the same guild tag for different servers. So th there can be multiple tags. For example, I can make this dev, even though there are plenty of other dev tags out there for other servers, you can have the same tag. So you won't actually know if your tag is unique unless you actually try and find a server that has that tag. Uh, so it's kind of hard to actually know if your tag is unique or not. But if you could try and find a unique one or at least a unique symbol to 
put with it in some unique way uh, would be a great way to getting people to actually use your tag a lot more as no one else has it but of course anyone could actually copy your tag so it's not really but you got to be that you got to be the first server to actually have that unique tag to actually really uh, i guess take the lead uh, for having that tag so once again we can experiment with the different badge types here such as the leaf uh, we could try all the different colors here so you could see the whole rainbow of the leaf color scheme here and we could do the same with the sword so we could see that you could actually choose the accent and the primary color for the sword icons this is for the handle and then this is for uh, the actual blade and then same for the heart this one's just a single color so you could change all those colors uh, we did the flame and then we have the water droplet uh, so we have all of these different colors here then we have the skull here which also doesn't have a primary accent i'm not sure if any any of these will also have it but let's just see so this is the moon crescent this is the uh, lightning bolt here then we have, I'm not actually sure what this is, but this one has a primary and an accent color. So it looks like the, it looks like it's just the top and the bottom color here. So if I make these nice and bright, uh, we can see we can edit that. And then lastly, we have the mushroom, which also has a primary and an accent for the base and the top. So anyways, though, that is sort of just a showcase of this. And once again, this is a max of four characters. So you can only use four characters for your tag. And I don't think you could actually use one character. No, okay, it has to be two characters. So you could use up to two characters, up to two and up to four characters, or sorry, between two and four characters, I should say. Uh, so anyways, so that is basically how you set up your own guild tag. Um, once again, uh, updating your server tag will require all your members, members to manually reapply the tag. So that's another major thing. Uh, it says we do this to prevent abuse. So this is basically... Uh, if you do have um, a server tag and then you change it to something that someone like your members wouldn't want to have on their profile, it doesn't automatically update that for them as that would just be uh, sort of, as you can see, to prevent abuse. So it just makes sense that they have that sort of uh, precaution in, in place. So anyway, though, guys, thank you for watching this video on how to create and set up a Discord tag for your Discord server. Uh, once again, please join my Discord server. We just have reached a thousand members a couple days ago, so we are in the dis in the server discovery now. And once again, we will be hosting a giveaway uh, once we have two thousand subscribers, which are only about hundred subscribers away. So we'll get that uh, pretty soon. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next Discord tutorial. Bye bye.